Your bird is still do? dumb as fuck. <laughs> it just knows its colors. Congrats. Suck my dick or do my taxes. <laughs> Guys, this Saturday, Lisa Woo! Ann, Woo! Stiff Socks, live in Los Angeles at the Avalon. There's like 20 tickets left. Yeah. Um, it's going to be epic. My parents are going to be there. That's so wild. Also, dude, it's for I'll the Netflix freaking comedy yeah, festival. Yeah, Netflix is a joke. The whole festival. not They're not a joke, but that's what it's called. Yep. I'm literally going to ask my parents what position I was conceived in. You're sh well, are you? Missionary. I, I, I'm curious. If they yeah. want to, I, I asked them, I was like, you guys don't have to go to this, but if you want to go to this, just understand, you're in the stiff socks realm, baby. Yeah, so you're fitting to get asked questions. I might be like, Mom, you ever put a finger in Dad's ass? And he's going to say, yes. And my mom's going to go raise her hand, but she got to take it out of his ass first. Hold up. Bro, also, do we ever... I've, uh, Lisa Ann. Okay? Lisa Ann. That's what I'm trying to get to. Especially the with Lisa Ann. So this is when worlds collide, and this is going to be one for the books. What, what does that mean, for the books? Like the history books. when history important books. stuff. Oh, you kids are going to read right about now. this in social studies. I love Social that. studies. Dumb. So, Let's start the episode Social right stuff. now. <laughs> but also, on top of that, we also have tour dates. Michael, where yep. are you going to be at? Uh, Michael Blaustein, stand-up comedy. I'm going to be in Buffalo May 11th. Uh, those tickets are almost sold out. We're going to be in Syracuse uh, May 12th. Syracuse, uh, uh, buy tickets. <laughs> um, <laughs> I'm at Vegas uh, June 23rd to the 24th. I'll be in Austin uh, July 22nd to the 23rd. And then I will be in Chicago August 4th through the 6th at blowcomedy.com. Get your tickets at blowcomedy.com. Also, the link for the Netflix, at least anything, is on my website and, and mine. Mr. Wallace's website. Blowcomedy.com, Trevor Wallace Comedy. Dude, I got two weekends left to the tour. It's been crazy, man. I've learned so much, and I really think I've grown as a, as a comedian. 100%. And I, and I'm, and I'm falling in love with uh, stand-up more and more every weekend. Sentimental. Let's talk about cum. But the last two <laughs> weekends, I'm going to be in Long Island, which is at 98% sold out. You guys are really fourth quarter Whoa. players on that. Uh, Long Island, Huntington, the Paramount. And then we got Philadelphia sold out. Uh, sorry, I don't know why I said it. Baltimore, with the, sec the late show, the second show, there's a few left. And then Los Angeles, May 20th, uh, has like 10% 10, 10 tickets left. Yep. And that's at the Novo in downtown, May 20th. That's the last show of the tour. And it's going to be, I'm going to try and have rappers, special guests. Yeah. I might pop a ping pong ball out of my ass. Now I'm buying Trevor a ticket. <laughs> You're on the show. Hold up. <laughs> TrevorWallsComedy.com. Gabe, Gabe, splat it him. up. Is water lube for your mouth? Is water lube for your mouth and for your, your body? Mouth. And your body. If you think about it, your mouth be getting dry. You have a little bit of Aquafina. Worse water, go. Worse, Arrowhead. Worse water, Arrowhead. It's not even close. No, no, no. Air, uh, Aquafina. Aquafina, Aquafina. hands down, hands down. Aquafina, you know what there's Aquafina. salt in it. I thought Same it with Dasani. Dasani. Yeah, Dasani. Or Dasani. What I fucks fucked me up Dasani. is like Dasani's like owned by like Pepsi, and you're like, what? What does soda got to do with water? Yeah, I don't like the fact that they're dabbling in the same chemist. They're dabbling. They're swimming in the same water. Let's go. Whoa, this hey, is a comedy podcast. What's up? It is. Um, you ever have a girl uh have dry mouth in the middle of giving in the middle of giving you? Uh, yeah, I, I think uh, where he's like spit on her hands and yep. rub it on the old uh, penis. Well, I'm talking about in the middle of head. Oh, she no. gets like yo, yeah. I used to have this girl. It feels like you're just fucking the hole after a woodpecker. Oh, it didn't feel great. Uh, dry mouth. Dry mouth. Clean it up. Orbits. Clean it up. Orbits come. That girl is k bad. Dirty mouth. Clean it up with orbits. Give me your mouth. <laughs> <laughs> like she's so bad. I would hate it. Accents who, who, who are so the hot. hottest. Uh, <clears throat> Lady commercial. Gaga. Sorry, I was gonna, probably should be in a commercial. I was gonna say to you, who are the hottest commercial women in your lifetime? We got Carl's Jr. Uh, we got uh, Go that, Daddy. Does that we got count? Does that Carl's count? Jr. The Carl's Jr. Does that count? They're not like the Paris Hilton people. one. Huh? huh? You're talking about the Paris Hilton one? Carl's Jr. No, no, no. Charlotte. Um, yeah, I, f I forget her last name. Charlotte Webb. <laughs> No, I'm saying out of all the commercials, what's the hottest commercial you can think of right now? Uh, the at t bitch with fat tits. <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> Who's a respectable lady? Dude, she came. Uh, she came at people online. Yeah. How could she not? Her tits were in the way. <laughs> no. Um. Uh, well, she, she's actually really funny. She's like really funny. I think she comes from like a, a yeah. comedy background. Yeah, yeah. The people at at t where were their heads at for this? What do you mean? Like when they were casting. Oh, I don't know. They, I don't think they wanted fat tits. That wasn't like in the, the breakdown. Up. Uh, Up. Oh. Well. Whoa. She wore like Oxford shirt that's like six sizes too big. And she wore three sports bras. When the wind hits it kind of right, you're like, hold up. Hey. Tits. Hold up. Hold up. 
Oh, you know who's Kids horny? Be hiding. They do. You know who's Peek-a-boo. horny? Peekaboo. <laughs> Who, you know who's horny? You know who's horny? A lot of men. Taylors. Taylors? Yeah, because they go, we just need to take it in a bit. Why? <laughs> to see some labia? <laughs> Dude, if my girl's getting fucking tailored for a dress, I'm going. We need to take it in yeah, more. Yeah, but they're like feeling like the sides. It's nothing horny. Sides is hot? Sides? Speaking of sides, what's Begin. your favorite side? Coleslaw. Get out. <laughs> coleslaw is fire. I, well, okay. I'll take a step back. Well, well, the what, right what coleslaw is, is great. Huh? What is the side width? That's not what I asked. Dude, if I wish I... <laughs> what do you mean? You can't just, oh, what's your favorite side? Gatorade. I don't fucking know. If, the, if I wanted to be truthful, it's mac and cheese. But I yeah. can't eat it because stupid gluten-free bitch shit... But they gotta have gluten free. They do, but there's never like fire. Like the best mac and cheese is ones like crispy on the top. Oh yeah. Like that's how mac and cheese needs to be done. Yeah. When you see a lady pull out the Valvita, it's a wrap. I don't. It's a wrap. Valvita's Valvita's fine, but you know what I really fuck with this. This just might be from my childhood. Valvita is just, not fine. It's fine. No. Oh, you like it's cream totally cheese out. that somebody sneezed on with craft in their mouth. Nothing's wrong with that. Walk that through your brain. That sounds awesome. Dude, I the, the I think there might be that might be have the most range of how something can get made. If you make if you and I both make a hamburger, yeah. it'll kind of taste in the same realm. But mac and cheese, every single person in the world makes a different mac and cheese. Yeah, because no one reads the goddamn directions. Right, but like a lot of people do it wrong. Like, what's I, wrong? I remember with you? A, a, one of my buddies in college. He would make the craft mac and cheese just like out of the box, yeah. and then he would throw craft singles in it, and he thought he was doing what something with that. What in the but he H-E thought he e double hockey sticks? He thought he was doing something with that. No. And then he put like Tapatio on it. I'm like, well, this, this is This guy's so- in jail right now. Probably. Yeah. Yeah, we all went to San Jose State, so. Everybody. Yeah, a lot of felons. Can we look this up real quick? And I'm sorry to, to, to what were you, I'll let you finish before I want to I look was just up. talking shit on mac and cheese. Because I think it's like, the part that sucks is if you're getting food, you're getting ribs or whatever the fuck. Like, what do you want your side to be? Like, mac and cheese. Yeah. There's so many variations of what I it can be. I hear what you're saying. There Coleslaw is. is always in and around the same. Sometimes they try to get fancy. I'm like, oh, it's rice vinegar on it. Shut up. Yeah, uh, here's some paprika. Just throw mayonnaise in a little bit of water. Call it Tuesday. What is what is it? Cabbage? What the hell is cabbage? Is cabbage just lettuce on steroids? I, I think it's like cabbage that was in a lazy river. It's oh, ca- just, just little- a mayo. Just like it's just a lot of like slosh. Yeah, I don't think cabbage has a job. No. Cabbage beats its wife. Kimchi is cabbage. Who would cabbage fuck? Broccoli? Who's cabbage's wife? Broccoli. Uh, Peas? Well, somebody's fucking it because there's Cabbage Patch Kids. Hold up. Somebody. Those are good. Cabbage Patch Kids? Sour Patch Kids. Sour Patch Kids. Cabbage Patch Kids are like cards. Cabbage Patch Kids are like, isn't it a cartoon? They got weird hair? Uh, the yeah, hair's made of rope. The, uh, well, they, right? they, they like sell cards at like Hot Topic. Oh, yeah. But what Cab- is Hot Topic's game plan right now? Hey, goth. Yeah. Also, that little corner of Hot Topic that had all like the like the sex and the adult stuff. Yeah, it had was like behind like a beaded area, and it was like eighteen plus. Hold I wasn't on. eighteen back there. I'll tell you what. Also, it's so hilarious, and this point has been made a hundred times, but it's so hilarious how you can go to a war, shoot a dude, but you can't buy alcohol. What? What do you mean? You can get, what? what I'm saying is, eighteen, you can go to you can go in the army or the navy. Yeah, but they're like, hey, you can't have Jack Daniels, but here's a gun. Huh? What? Let them. This is okay. Unless you're in Canada, 19. Why True. 19? I don't know. That one year gap. I know. They're like, you're 18. You can smoke a cigarette. Enjoy this one year of just straight nicotine. Enjoy it. Feel it. Now, here's a beer. Yeah, 19. But I mean, I, are you crossing the board to drink? Yes. That is If wild. you're that young, for sure. You can just hop across the board and get blacked out and come back. Borders are fake. <laughs> they are they're fake what is there a line there no who yeah, there is yeah but here's the, who we were just in canada that's yeah what, that's why we're freaking we're, out we just we got back from canada it it's canada. so weird to be like you're an hour from new york upstate new york and now you're just in a different place and all of a sudden you're in kilometers and you're paying with loonies and toonies loonies and toonies listen what if your money rhymes w, uh, what is happening i don't know like Your I thought money it, sounds it, like a Dr. Seuss poem. Yeah, it literally sounds it. like Daffy Duck was going to come out and make the loonies and toonies. It doesn't make sense. The Six Flags guy. He looks like a penis. <laughs> yeah, dude, isn't he like actually like 40? Probably. But with that, with that dome, slid right into a... 
This is what I was gonna say. With the with the mouth, th this girl used to literally, she would get dry mouth all the time, like she has a chronic dry mouth. So she would literally fi finger her mouth, literally. What? She would like go like this, like, like uh, what is it That's called? gag reflex. Yeah, gag, what was it called when you, whatever. Like she like put her fingers in her throat to make Foreplay. saliva go. Foreplay. Yeah. Would you, uh, uh. would you ever spit in her mouth to give her more spit? Transit property. More I'm spit. having crazy deja vu right now. Holy of shit. What? This podcast of her. The, the, we've we talked. What's happening? We've everything Dude, I've you've ever mentioned. This. We've never talked about. Dude, hold on. I, what this is what. Next? Huh? What happens next? Oh shit, Gabe. I think you have dementia. <laughs> huh? <laughs> I think you have dementia. What are you saying? We've been Ezekiel. Recording. We've been <laughs> Ezekiel. Ezekiel. We'll pop out the womb. Be like, I'm Ezekiel. Ezekiel, you're, you're a brand. <laughs> What is deja vu? Why, why do you have to say out loud? You have to go, whoa, I just had deja because vu. Because it's, it's and wild. And everyone's like, oh, okay, cool. So Arby's or not? Yeah, it's wild. When you get a bless you from someone you don't know. A bless you? Yeah, when I you like sneeze. I, sne I sneeze on a plane, no one said anything. A dude from like three rows back puts out and goes, bless you. I love that. I think it's awesome. Also, who are you? Are you my dad? Like, In you know this what I mean? scenario, anybody could be your dad. Whoa. In the arms of... Do you think when Sarah McLaughlin made that song, she's like, oh, this is going to fuck people's hearts up. Uh, this is going to do it to them. Yes, I do, but I don't think she was like, oh, shit, this is going to save a bunch of golden doodles. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder how much she got paid for that song. For Who is the company that does it? And you know what's even more funny? They shot the commercial, yeah. edited it <clears throat> in color, and they're like, not sad enough. Make it black and white. What is it about black and white that makes you more sad? Dust Bowl Farmers. <laughs> Dust Bowl <laughs> The Dust Bowl. That's a real thing. Is that a Super Bowl? Just that dusty? sounds like a college game that'll take place in Arkansas. The yeah. Dust Bowl. Yeah. All your cousins go. Everyone's coming. What do you mean by that? <laughs> 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 what the hell makes a Western omelet Western? I don't know. Does that ever kick in the door? It's like, I'm Western. But what about ham and onions and peppers? Is like, hey, West. I've already said this to you off podcast. I don't think the Wild West was real. What do you mean? I don't think, you know, like, hey, hey, howdy, partner. None of that's real. I think it was. You think this motherfucker walks in and spit in a platoon? I know. What is it? A splatoon? You know what's funny? If they huh. went and spit and they missed. I think they missed all the time. <laughs> like they're trying to be tough and they're like, uh, yeah, partner, there's not space. There's never enough space. But never. there was no buildings. What First about all, now? There was there was no apartment complexes back then. There was one bar and it was called the the saloon. Yeah. The saloon? That's it. What about the salon? Get a better haircut. But imagine the guy goes, well, there's not enough space around here. And he misses. Funny. Funny? Also, I'd like to make this point. There's nothing but space. Y'all are in fucking middle of that's Kentucky. That's what I'm with, saying. That's what you're saying. All right, I missed it. Deja vu. I'm Ezekiel. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> How do you feel about birds that can talk? Like, you know when they're like... Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> Isn't that wild? Yeah. The, but like, wait. Dude, I saw, a video, I saw a video on TikTok. The guy's like, he's, he like holds up different colors to the bird. He's like, what color is this? And the bird's like, red. I will say, let me say this. Your bird is still do? dumb as fuck. <laughs> it just knows its colors. Congrats. Suck my dick or do my taxes. <laughs> that is, what it I mean, but realistically, remember? It's still dumb. Your bird's still dumb. Oh, my bird can count, count to seven. Oh, cool. Cool. You're, you're, you are still in debt. <laughs> what are we going to do here? It is a wild, I don't know. Um, uh, I, I don't know. It's weird. Like, yeah. imagine being a girl, you're on the first day, you go back to his house, and you're like, you're making hints, you kind of want to, like, take it to the next level, you want to go yeah. to the bedroom, and then all the way to the bedroom, he rips off a towel from the birdcage and goes, you want to hear him count to seven in French? <laughs> uh, do, do. I don't know, but babble. like, what, what is that, f babble, what is that for? And why do birds know that? Why do they never say anything cool? Why are they never like, hey, I would, actually, if you go to a subway, it's not 12 inches, it's 10 inches. You can sue them for that. I Is that true? They're not a foot long. Dude, if you type in how long is a foot Dude, long in a subway, they're like 10 inches. And look, that. I'm a guy who knows his inches. All five of them. Hold on. Subway fucked up twice. You ever look at your clock and make bigger? Of, every time. Every time. You ever have like small nope. hard days? Small go, hard days? You're more than this. You ever give your dick a halftime speech? I do think there's days where uh, he's phoning it in. Yeah. He's like hard, but he's not like fucking. Mm. Yeah. You know, like Monday mornings at the, you know, like, um, would you always worked in the restaurant business? Uh -huh. Did you ever have like a corporate, like, like desk job? Like, beep, 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 uh -uh. beep, beep. Like, good. Do you want to follow up? Q4, Q3, a bunch of words that don't matter. Never. Mondays, I feel like you show up good. Monday's like your hardest cock. Right. And then 
Thursday, Friday, you're showing up, but you're not really there. You're you're scrolling, I understand. You're scrolling Twitter and ESPN. I understand. Boss is like, hey, can we get that? And you're like, that's a Monday task. I understand. And I feel like sometimes my dick is like really that Thursday, 4 p.m. feeling. You're like, ah. Yeah, it needs a five energy. But it, it still does it, but it's just not. Yeah. My, uh, but sometimes. <clears throat> wow. Dwayne The Rock Johnson shows up. Yeah. The Rock. It goes, hey, The Rock. <laughs> I mean, The Rock? Do, you go from Dwayne Johnson to The Rock. I mean, dude. I mean, I guess he's massively. Yeah, well, someone just feels packed and he's like, yeah, it's like a rock. And he's like, say that slower. Yeah. The The Rock. Not the rock, rock. Rock. The Rock. What would your name be if you're a wrestler? Pebble. <laughs> no, uh, my name would probably be <clears throat> King Cum. King Cum? Yeah, because it sounds like King Dumb, but it's uh-huh. King No, it Kung. sounds like King Kong. That's why I thought you were going to go for No, it. King Dumb. Like Kingdom Come. I hear King what you're saying. Kung. Well, kingdom come is that's what it should be. Kingdom, kingdom come. come. King, dumb, Katie. King dome come. I don't. Let me ask you. <laughs> Good title. This, this, the layup. The softest title. Yeah. <clears throat> um. Yeah. The Rock. Crazy. What's um, your wrestling name? Ready to go. I don't have one. Cracker. <laughs> what? <laughs> That's terrible. I know. Coming down, it's Cracker. Goddamn. Ladies and gents, today's podcast <laughs> is sponsored by our friends at Seat Geek. Geek. Summer concerts are here, and that means you can get twenty dollars off your tickets at Seat Geek with promo code Socks. If you didn't know already, Seat Geek is a ticketing app that app, makes buying app, tickets app. super simple. I've got the app on my phone and Trev's got his app on his phone and it's by far and away the best way to buy tickets bro you know what's crazy about it is you literally click on the ticket and you can see the view see it. Gabe was talking about it yeah. it's insane mm-hmm. so if you're like oh man can I see uh, Rihanna yes you can see Rihanna you can just click on it and see if you can see it with so many amazing concerts and festivals happening right now you're not going to want to miss out okay I'm talking, talking about, about dude I'm talking about the weekend okay. uh, Doja Cat and Doja Justin Dog Bieber? Do- Justin Bieber I, Doja Dog. I did you're off the spot run it Dude. Olivia Rodrigo, Sean Mendez, and so much more. So Maybe much more. even Stiff Socks. Whoa. Hey, May 7th of the Avalon. Can I plug our own tour dates on here? It Do sounds it. like a good time. Can you get tickets from them? Maybe. Maybe. I've got the hookup for you guys. Use code SOCKS for $20 off tickets. That's $20 off your first purchase with the promo code SOCKS. Make sure you click the link in the description to download the app. All right. That is code SOCKS for $20 off your first seat geek Order, bro. That's incredible. Go get it. God damn. Trevor Wallace. Yes, sir. Dude, isn't it insane that everyone's got a freaking credit card? Too these many, days? dude. Buddy, I'm talking about American Airlines, Delta, Buffalo Wild Wings. Everyone. Even dude. Diet Coke's got one. Cheerios got one. Whoa. Ficus Plants got one. <laughs> Dude, it's insane. Yeah. And here's the thing, dude. You don't never know which one to choose, all right? You don't need to apply for the first offer you see in the mail, dude. Okay, the Credit Karma can help you zero in on the right option for you and apply <laughs> with more confidence. Plus, Credit Karma uses your credit profile to show you offers that are tailored to your financial situation, all right? Yep. Best of all, Credit Karma uses your credit data to show you your chances of approval before you even apply, helping you apply with more confidence. Comparing cards on Credit Karma is 100% free and Whoa. won't affect your credit score. Whoa. Credit Karma, create your own karma. Whoa, okay, ready to find the card for you? Head to Credit Karma and check out your personalized mix of offers today. Go to creditkarma.com or the Credit Karma app to find the card for you. So why get in the car to get credit car ma? <laughs> hey, creditkarma.com. Uh, All you need to do, head to creditkarma.com. Goddamn. Why does birds always want crackers? <laughs> Polly. But who uh, Polly wants a cracker? First of all, stop naming your bird Polly immediately. <laughs> That's over for the rest of your what life. What are you feeding your bird right now? I'm going to raisins. I'm feeding my bird. I, this is what I want my bird to say. This is what I was going. I want to walk in and want my bird to be like, you should suck his dick. That's it. That's all it says. But what are you doing your dad's Why visiting? Why are there helicopters outside? Why is the door open? The door's oh, open? the door's <laughs> open? That explains the breeze. Uh- that explains why the temperature in the studio is awesome. Uh, yeah, that's cool and all, but what do you do when you have guests over? And your landlord's like, hey, I'm here to just fix uh, the leaky pipes. You should suck his cock. And the landlord's like, awesome. Hold on. Funny. How is the porn not started with that? 
You're right. Because you get a train Dude. of births, the whole thing. I heard crows, I heard. Joe Rogan was talking about how crows are like smart as shit. That's what I've heard too. What? So is a crow the smartest bird? A crow? I think so. Crows crows are are so Those boys so... don't even know they can fly. Yeah. Can they fly? They got wings. What? If you got wings and you can't fly, that's, what do you do with that? It's it's literally, you know what that's like to me? It's like if you're six seven and can't dunk. What the fuck are you doing? It's but but here's the thing, it's like it would be like that, but you always have a basketball with you. Ooh. Because well, if you're six seven, you kinda always do have a basketball. Everyone goes, Not Hey, really. you play basketball, right? Everyone. You talk to uh, anyone who's like six seven? A little bit of that. Yeah. Yeah, but like just having wings at you at all time, I'd probably go to a body shop and get them removed. Your wings? West Coast Customs, take them off. <laughs> because, well, because now you're gonna be more aerodynamic. Or I'd put shit under there. Would you put wings on you if you could? Yeah. That would be so 100%. weird. 100%. You would pipe down a girl with wings? Yeah. God My damn. My eye club. That hand job would be insane. God damn. So you, you know how sometimes you find like a, like a hair around your cock? You just find a feather? Yeah. What? A quill? What is this? Did you know Vin Diesel, Dwayne Johnson's contract says they can't lose fights in Fast and Furious? Their I just learned this the other day. This Vin they Diesel, D- The Rock, and Jason Statham, the stars of the Fast and Furious movies, all have in their contracts that they're not allowed to lose a fight on camera. So Honestly, anytime, anytime they fight, it has to be a drop. That's the most draw. alpha thing you can do. <laughs> yeah. If I had this contract, mine would be I can never come quick if I was in a movie. Hundred <laughs> percent. I need to last for at least fourteen minutes. I well, how was the longest longer. sex scene has gone in a movie where people are like that's enough? I uh, mm. There's probably yeah, there's probably a real long. Like how long can a mom just hold her hand over her son's eyes? Yeah, without also, getting carpal tunnel. Moms are doing that, holding their hands over the eyes like we don't have access to Pornhub. Also, they're doing that while the mom watches. Yeah, you're getting all riled up, while holding your kid's hand. Weird. <laughs> <laughs> but that is, it's just it's also like you have to hear it. There's not enough hands because you need double to cover the ears yeah. and the eyes. Yeah, I mean, th- I think now that's over. I think I don't think. Really? I mean, dude. Like, I, you have tits in your pocket all the time. Well, I know this is a cliche statement, but what is it that, why did parents always walk in on the freakiest scenes? Like, they never walked in on the intro when the guy's eating a bowl of Lucky Charms and like, well, today's going to be a tough one. Yeah. It's always like the guy's getting pegged in the back of a John Deere. And the mom's like, what is <laughs> What are you watching? You're like, Joe Dirt 3! It's Bugs Life, I promise! <laughs> Just not even animated? It's not even close? Bugs Life, the musical. <laughs> numbers uh justin timberlake and Mila kunis fucked for five minutes and 41 seconds in a movie one time that's what? the longest what? that's the longest what? sex scene in hollywood movie. history bring friends, it up friends okay. with benefits ashton kutcher was probably watching this like we could probably wrap this up yeah yeah He's Ad, at- go back to the editors this is not yeah. done like he- sorry this is the red carpet premiere no 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 take Cut it out it. um wow F- hold on five how, how much time five minutes 41 seconds dude that's, that's with edits yeah, yeah, that's longer than like most people can last regular. That yeah. guy had numbing spray on. You think you think Justin Timberlake's piping, sir? Here's the funny thing though. I've always thought about this. You know how ludicrous and all those fucking rappers like, man, I fuck bitches on top of bread. Like, you know, they're just like, <laughs> like if there's like, ever a place to fuck, it's on top of bread. What bread would you fuck on right now? Sourdough, pumpkin loaf. <laughs> <laughs> Why pumpkin loaf? It's, it's firm, but it's forgiving. That's what I was thinking about with sourdough. Sourdough's Sourdough, hard though, but sourdough's got, but it's it's enough. Sourdough, it's after enough you fuck, to, you got like burns on your knee. Burns are fine. I like the little. I like the little seeds. You can use that for friction. In sourdough, There's seeds in sourdough. Oh no, I mean rye bread. I'm fucking up. You would fuck on rye bread? Yeah, that's just funny. Hey, how was your weekend? I fucked on rye bread. How was, <laughs> I how fucked was on yours? rye bread. Now we're gonna have the Zoom call or what? Can we be done with Zoom? Zoom's done. Please, thank Zoom's God. done. Come to my party. Have, have my birthday. Give me a <laughs> fucking leave. <laughs> What five minutes? What movie is that? It's called Friends with Benefits. It's called Pornhub. What the hell? <laughs> uh, what, what do you think the shortest is? Seven seconds. Not a Vin Diesel film. We'll tell you that much. Oh no, yeah, it wouldn't be allowed. Well, the shortest is probably like something like Super Bad, where he comes really quick. That's so funny. It's literally it is Michael Sarah, but it's not Super Bad. Ellen Page and Michael Sarah six seconds, which must be Juno because I think was he in that? Did he, he come in that, quick yeah. in like the what? What happened? American what Pie was one he didn't even take his pants off and it came in his pants. Oh yeah, I've done yeah. that. Relatable. What Very was, relatable. What was the one where he like went upstairs? Was it McLovin? He was like, it was a super bad. He had like the hot <laughs> chick. Mm-hmm. She had the like brown hair and they went upstairs and either he couldn't get it up or he came quick. You know I the don't girl? remember. Her, it was like, oh, Becca, you're, you're here. That was my Michael Sarah impersonation. It's pretty good. Oh, Becca, she said, hey, did, did, did you want to go upstairs? Why is nobody validating it? I, 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 I just, I, 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 want, I want to be on board. I just, just like, know. whoa, I didn't have, no, I had Michael Sarah as a guest today on the podcast. Oh, Michael. 
That's you. Oh, fuck. You're Ezekiel. Hold on. Can you bring up a little bit of this? Because maybe we can look oh, you at, see it? <clears throat> as content makers and be like, hey, you could cut here. Yeah, let's see. It's the biggest water I've ever seen in my life, dude. This what is the a hell? massive water. How much of that can you get in your ass? Uh, Probably to the water, like the the, the label. What? This is 1.5 liters. No one knows that. It, it is. just that's looks in so Canada. Because if it was in a jug, you'd be like, whoa, that's normal. But this is wild. Why'd you buy that? Long story. <laughs> oh, man. Well, I <laughs> guess we can't get into it. So already, this YouTube <laughs> upload says 4 minutes and 40 seconds, which yeah, is but shorter also, than what it's, said. It's nearing 10 million views. It has 9.9 .9 million views. Holy this shit. also says friends with benefits, sex, scenes. Uh. Multiple? Hmm. Let's see. Me look huge as a lot. I can't even. I, I like, bet so many PAs are hard during this. PA accents? I'm going to be honest. If I was Justin, I would literally be having duck. I would duck take my cock down. <laughs> you would have to. I mean, wear, this is crazy. I'd wear chain metal overalls. <laughs> Dude, are you kidding me? This guy lays it down. And I can't wait to fall in love. What? Oh, I, I thought they were. The article I read said there was one continuous sex scene. But maybe yeah. not. Oh, but is this like a. Dude, she's the one. Initiating, she's on her shit. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. She's what we call Randy. She's wet. Whoa. Shit. What is asking because you're doing? Well, while, while this is happening, jerking off. <laughs> Whoa. Hold up. I can't watch this. I'm gonna get hard. Um. Bricked up at 11:14. So okay. Title. <laughs> every episode is just called bricked up at whatever time we start recording. I yeah, love it. I mean, yeah. that's every Drake song ever. <laughs> yeah. 4 p.m. in Calabasas is a for real title of his. It's but it's so good though. It's just funny. 4 p.m. in Calabasas. He literally has a bar in there. He goes, I see Chris Jenner, I beep twice and I wave. The thought of a rapper to me is so funny. Beeping. Like, well, the uh, word beep is hilarious. Chris! Honk. It's me, Aubrey. You know, Drake. Does he introduce himself as Drake? If he goes to the bank, he can't he, say Drake. I don't think he introduces himself. He just goes, aha. Poppy. True. Champagne poppy. Also, I'd like to say this. When he goes to the bank, he can't say, hey, it's Drake. He has to, he'd be like, it's Aubrey. Aubrey Graham. He has to hand an idea that says Aubrey Graham. Audrey. Audrey? Aubrey. 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 Aubrey Graham. You know which ones I honestly hate? And this is, this is going to go against everything you guys know me about. Um, <clears throat> there was one sex scene in, God, was that new Gucci movie? Gucci, whatever the fuck. Know, that was with Lady Gaga. <laughs> yes. Lady Gaga. Does it ever wear Gucci? Well, hold on. <laughs> um, but it was it was one minute too long. He was pounding her out, and I was uncomfortable. I was like, "All right, let's we get it." Yeah. To the next. The second your three pumps in, you're like, "Okay, I know where the scene is going." Unless yeah. you're showing me technique, change it. Yeah, it's you're just. just There's fucking... no foreplay in movies either. Yeah, they're, they're making it on the counter. They have one glass of Merlot, and then he's just balls deep. Yeah, I'd like to see you it. Told all. me, Cooter was just warmed up and ready. He didn't have to spit or anything. I'm going to be honest. Sometimes, he didn't have to talk and be like, ah, oh, wood grain cabinets. Sometimes Cooter's just ready. Sometimes Cooter's been moist from the appetizers. I'll tell you what. Huh? Yeah. I mean, that, that's a, you feel like you're coming home, coming to a nice warm hug. Yeah. I'm like, Cooter warmed up? You're like, hold up. I don't got to spit on this bitch? I don't got to do my ABCs on a labia? I mean, this is dumb to say, but that's, an, a, that's an erection for a vagina. It is. 100%. When the cooter's warmed up, that's a girl being bricked up. You know what I love? When you go, wow, you're already wet. She goes, I've been wet since the fucking jalapeno poppers. Huh? Yeah. Since the jalapeno yeah. poppers? Tell me! I've been wet since you got here. That's what so, I'm saying. So I could have fucking Bro, took... we need a mood ring for the cooter. Like her pants glow. You know, you know how uh, the metal detectors? That's what we need for cooch. I what? need a moist detector to put it right in there. Oh, 75%? Take them off. <laughs> <laughs> I need the bird to be like, give him head. I love that bird idea. I'm doing it. Give him head? Yeah, that's, that's it. That's all he says? That's all he says. Dude, you know what would be so funny if that bird flew away and then you had to make <laughs> a, a lost poster? Bird says, give me head. There's a bunch of dudes sprinting on the street. Where's the cockatoo? Cockatoo? Oh! Cock. Cock. A two. A chew. Bless you. I would have my bird say, man, you are funny. <laughs> <laughs> That's so sad. That is so sad. And it says it as if someone said you're not funny. Man, hey, you are funny. That is so sad. So sad. Or you get to be like, hey, you do have a big dick. That's what it'd be. I know. I just say give him head. Give him head. The plumber comes in. Give him head. 
The plumber's hey. like, oh, hey, that's one of those scenes, huh? Plumbers fuck, huh? <laughs> I, I don't know. I don't think they do. How many guys started working as a plumber or a repairman because they thought that they were going to be like, whoa, you have leaky pipes. Yeah, I know what that means. Pulls his cock out. <laughs> <laughs> there's just nobody home. <laughs> Zero people home. Um, I think there's some. Dude, I just, I wonder how many times like now that happens. I think a lot. I think there's horny housewives. Think. Yeah. Yeah. How I come think the housewives always wear robes? Get some clothes. They're always wearing a robe robes are honestly, or they're coming from yoga. Robes are inconvenient. They're nice, but they're inconvenient. I need a little you gotta more. You got to drape around like a wizard. You're knocking over the stevia with your arm. Yeah. Well, you're kind of like a Roomba. <laughs> you know what it's, I mean? It's like a lot. Like to like, if you're trying to move around gracefully, it's just knocking shit over. Like oh. it's nice from like. 10 to like 11 30 a.m and then at 12 you're getting your postmates in a robe postman's driver was like i was gonna offer to fuck but i'm out yeah this is weird or you have baloney in your sleeves the sleeves get everywhere that, how come there's no like tight sleeve robes that's what think about a long tight sleeve, sleeve robes is just a shirt <laughs> no it's not because think about the looseness and the material that go like it's just a hoodie pic- shut up picture a trench coat <laughs> picture a trench coat with like normal like long sleeve sleeves uh-huh. but the rest is fuzzy uh-huh. <laughs> like you look like an insane <laughs> your podcast has a shirt on his own. <laughs> but like that's where you lose me all the wizardry shit oh yeah well uh, but yeah. just like tight like it's like tight by the, the what's wrist. it made out of in your brain the material there the sleeves are made of like a snuggie <laughs> but there's a That's cuff a, okay a cuff actually is, dude i know this exists i have one it's called a comfy have you, pull it up a I, comfy it's like a giant it's like a giant pocket name. it's it's like it goes down to your like knees but it's, it's like it, fuzzy man. on the inside they're great for when you have anxiety or hungover which are synonymous google it comfy Trying to figure uh, out, I mean, comfy is just how people describe things, so it's hard to find. It, I would comfy. say comfy TM. <laughs> Trademark. I Trademark. Trade. Uh, yeah, if I could, if I could, comfy. Go ahead. Well, I don't know. I was just, <laughs> I was just gonna say. Yeah, like, there we go. That's it. <clears throat> no, not these. This is a robe. It's this it's is like a big hoodie. It's, it's a poncho. Yeah, there it is. So the sleeves oh, have a little. It. Oh, like, that looks real nice. Yeah, I have one of these. I forget to wear it. But those still, those sleeves still look like they're gonna get everywhere. They do, but they're cuffed. <laughs> Looks like a flying squirrel a little bit. It does. Yeah, yeah just wing. don't jump off the roof from that. Um, <laughs> I think but, that's the only thing you but, should wear to jump off the roof. That's the yeah. most depressing thing I've ever seen in, in my life. You can sneak in so many snacks to a movie in that. But the thing is, they cuff by the wrist, so you feel like go. To, I have the gray one, so it cuffs by the wrist, so it feels like because the sleeves are just so loose on a robe, you feel yeah. like like a bat could fly out of there. But that it looks like you could kind of just you could wear that on an airplane. Yeah. That looks like Kanye's next collection. It's going to something look like that. Yeah, but the hood's going to be on backwards. Oh, clothing. Bro, my girl came back from her hometown, bought something incredibly hot, didn't know I was into it. She bought, you ever seen a onesie? (laughs) Bitch. (laughs) Bitch. (laughs) Huh? (laughs) You ever seen a onesie? Yeah. Okay. I've had a sleepover before. Okay? No, not like that. Like a fuck. Are they called onesies? Yeah. My girl has one. She wears them. Fuck. I know does she it, does. Does it have the so- ass part that comes <laughs> up? What the hell? Does it have like the assless chat part? No. Type an adult onesie. No, I know. You, I know what you're thinking of. But like a, like a tight like spandex. It looks like, what are they? A, yoga a pants? A leotard? It, maybe that's what it's called. Maybe that's what it's called. It's like it looks like yoga pants that forgot to stop at the waist, and then they just keep going. That sounds like, like a Catwoman. Not that. Maybe it's a leotard. When I picture ones, I think literally whatever else is thing it's like it's a zip up. Okay. No, but it's it. Okay, no leotard is for full on like ballet Sexy dancing. Onesie. Yeah, I'd beat. Sexy. It's not onesie. a onesie. Uh, it's regular clothes. Hold up. What do you What do you this mean? This kind of shit. No, it's like li- 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 feel it. Hear me oh, out. Like a romper? It's like maybe. No, I don't romper, know what it's called. Look at that ass. Are, Hold up. <laughs> I was looking at that. Geo print. Yeah. Hey. Rom- <laughs> rompers don't have legs. It's just a shirt combo. I, I I think that's what it is. No, rompers don't have legs. Yeah, they do. No, they. Rompers stop at like right after the cooter. True. If it goes further than that, it's a jumpsuit. 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 Maybe it's a, maybe it's a jumpsuit. In, tight jumpsuit. Um. <clears throat> Yeah. Your friend of Michael Blaustein. <laughs> hey, don't do that. But it, yeah, it goes from the, the thing, and it just it literally looks like yoga pants that they forgot to stop at the waist, and it goes all the way up and has a little spaghetti shirt. Like uh, Team oh, Rocket would like wear? Like this kind of shit. But it has to be... No, no. but it's... Oh, yeah, no, no, that's it, that's it. But it's all tight. Hold up. Is that it? Mm-hmm. Zoom in. Closer. That's Fat, the same slower. thing. 
Um, bro, <clears throat> huh? That's a fucking overalls. <laughs> no, they're not. Bro, overalls. that's overalls. They're not overalls. Well, Gabe, what did you type in? Lululemon overalls. I will fucking text my girlfriend right now and ask her what it is. Do it. Tight women's jumpsuit. It, where's my phone? I'm Have you ever had to explain what you're looking for <clears throat> to store for your girlfriend? It yep. is. You you sound so dumb. Just like okay, and what is it? You're like it's a thing. What it? Uh, but but it holds your waist. I'm doing it. Hold up. Talk to me. Yo, hey, listen, you're on the podcast right now. I have one question for you. No way. Yeah, yeah, wait. I have one question for you. That thing, okay. that thing, that thing that you bought that's like a onesie thing, the hottest thing in the world. What the hell is that called? <laughs> I think it's like a leotard. <laughs> leotard. That's what I said. But we're look, <laughs> baby, we're looking it up. We can't find it. Okay, it's from Maritzia. Who? Who the hell's Maritzia and can she come over? <laughs> <laughs> Maritzia. Who the hell? Reservations for that tonight. <laughs> um, what is it? Maritzia TNA. Um, I'll look it up. Ma Ma Maritzia TNA? No. Aritzia TNA. Oh, Aritzia. Aritzia TNA. Gabe, Google it. Body suit. I found it. Can you just send me the link, please? Yes, I absolutely will. Oh, man, this is so fucking funny. Let's yes. get a brand deal. Let's get a brand deal with Aritzia. <laughs> this doesn't look super hot, though. Hold up. Well, I just look really good. Oh, <laughs> confidence on the podcast. Don't Is look. Don't look. Um, all right, lady. Thank you so much. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. I'm gonna cut you here. Okay. All right. Love you, honey. All right. Love you too. Bye. 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 All you right. Here we go. Okay. Here Body it is. Body reveal. Three, two, one. Oh, hold no, on. that doesn't look cool. She's wearing well, a thing. There might be other photos. All right. Oh, that's it. That's it. What the hell? I'm gonna be honest. She doesn't look Bro, good. Oh, that's a body overall. That's Is a overall. This doesn't look good. <laughs> this doesn't look good. Is that the color and everything? No, it's like that. That it's like that. Um, this is not what she has because it's not a. Cre it's what color going, is it? Keep going. One more. Wolf gray. Blue. Yup. That's it. That's keep the color. Strong. That's the color. Essentially, it's a wetsuit with a convertible. A hundred percent, dude. Dude, that's like the new Bronco. So the top comes off. Yep. It's just that, but a wetsuit. Dude, it's so hot because it's like it's like you. First of all, you well, know you're just seeing the outline of a body. A hundred percent, and you know there's it's naked under there, and you know that it's it's kind of like it's keeping all the it's keeping all the moisture and the warmth in. So you take it off, that cooter is ready to go. Yeah, it's like those bags they give Postmate workers. <laughs> <laughs> dude, I feel so bad when I get Postmates and the guys on a bike. Me too. I'm like, dude, I what I could have picked it help? up. Yes. Yeah. I don't, dude, doesn't it feel like hazing a little bit? A little bit. Like if one of my friends was like, I'm gonna go take my car to go pick up your food. I'd be like, man, thank you. That's so nice of you. Yeah. He's like, he's like, I'm gonna go get the Schwinn bike and then go there. You'd be like, bro, it's not. Uh, I'll help. Yeah, just text me. What do me. you need? The just text bike me. Hey, is, yeah. But a lot of them have like electric bikes, so it's like kind of a motorcycle. Yeah. But it is. It always makes me wonder what I ordered too, because you're like, yeah. Depends on how big the box is. Yeah. You're like, oh, I got a coffee mm. in that too. You're telling me there's just a rogue coffee just bopping around yeah it's like dude i ordered an entire espresso machine and you're <laughs> fucking bringing in a goddamn huffy i'm pissed i feel bad i really do especially when it's raining dude if you're in new york and it's like thunderstorm and you order like uber eats you're an asshole yeah i've done it but you're an asshole at least tip the part oh you gotta tip dude i went to a place yesterday and so it's just like where you they bring the machine to you at your table i love that it, i true but the the lady's holding it right oh. and the tip is starts on 25 Oh, absolutely not. So it starts on 25 all the way to the right. It's like highlighted. You should click confirm. But there's also options for 20 and 18. And uh -huh. you're like, dude, for her to be holding it right there and then to move it over. The move over is crazy. And that is literally, I mean, obviously we all know this, but that's on purpose. But you know what's crazy? It's, it's bullshit. Like, well, 100%. It's like yeah. when fucking Chevron flipped the two and now 91's on the left, you idiots, muscle memory. Yep. But it's like, here's, you know what's weird about that is like, you can still tip 18%, but in that server's head, she's going to be like, oh, fucking asshole. Yeah, also- Because I'm, you changed it from what they try to default you to. And you know what's also hilarious? Is 18% is still a good tip. So that's the least saying. you that's can tip is, like, you can is still, still garbage. I mean, right, I'm sorry, the least you can tip is still That's what I'm saying. Is like, like, if you did that, that person would be like, Ugh, fucking cheap asshole. So yeah. I was just like, yeah, 25, I sure. You know what's weird is I got food this morning, <clears throat> and it said- 12% good tip, 15% great tip. Yeah. And I'm like, 15% is not great tip, but it makes you feel fine to hit, oh, I'm great. They need to change adding, the wording. Yeah, adding an emotion with it is really a good play on their end. Yeah, 12%. It should say piece of shit, 10%. Oh, that's what I'm saying. It should say 12%. Decent human, 12. Eh. 15, close. Close. Maybe I have to work a double shift after this. Yep. 18, 
Thanks, pal. Pal. Pal's 20, I'll up. suck your cock. Yeah. yeah. 20, it should be who you are as a person, right? It should be 10%, you don't know who your parents think are. Think about that, though. 15%, you have a mom. 20%, you have both your parents. 25%, you got a huge dick. That's what it is. God damn. Hey! 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 <laughs> Blue chew, bitch. <laughs> That's really all I need to say. Look, do these guys have been supporting us and our cocks and our endurance for years now? Yeah. And I think that's why they're one of the number one online services that delivers the same active ingredients as Viagra and Cialis, but in a chewable tablet at a fraction of the cost. I like a hard cock. <laughs> do, you, do you like a hard cock? It depends where I am. Where are you? Home. All right, then yes. Hard. Hard. Dude, I like a hard cock, all right? And a lot of you young listeners are like, hey, man, I get hard when the fucking wind blows. Yeah, oh, 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 we get it. But what about the second time, huh? What if fucking Rachel looks at you and goes, hey, let's go too. And you're like, oh, bitch, I don't have a fuck. I can't go. I'm soft. Well, we got the answer for you. Goddamn Blue Chew. What? With answer for you, Blue Chew? Welcome to Trevor Wallace's YouTube. <laughs> fuck you, <boy. laughs> Fucking Blue <laughs> Look, look, look at me. Where's my camera? No, Go to Blue Chew. That's all. Yeah. Fuck. All right. More of the story. <laughs> Dude, it's like what Michael said. It's to give you that stronger donger, right? Stronged up. Get your cock up. Yeah, it makes your, your uh, that, but also the round two. It gets your endurance ready to go. So you're ready for that second set at the gym. You know and, what I'm saying? And also, bro, it, it delivers to your house. So yeah, you ain't got to go to CVS. And no. guy, my cock doesn't work. Whatever the fuck. It's <laughs> <laughs> a 97-year-old man. It's like, oh, we'll take a page out of my book and just pump it with petroleum. Look, you don't got to go to CVS. They send it to you. And the best part, huh. dude, your first month, free. All you How do, much? It's free. Dog, what? All you got to do is pay for shipping, you know. Because, look, UPS got to drop off that package and, you know, got to pay for that package. You know what I'm saying? But, look, $5, baby. That's it. Dude, all you got to do. So, all right. look, if you want to try it out, go to bluechew.com uh -huh. and use promo code SOCKS yep. to receive your first month free. Visit bluechew.com for more details, important safety information, and we thank Bluechew for sponsoring this podcast. Thank you, Bluechew, for sponsoring this. Bluechew.com, promo code SOCKS. Sox. Free month. Pay free month, $5 for shipping. <laughs> I mean, do you want a hard cock or not? I mean, those are two <laughs> options. You got two options here. Hard cock or not. I mean, what What are you guys even still listening? Go to the internet. God damn. It what? sounds like huh? there might be some stress. Yeah. Are you a little stressed? Dog all the time. Yeah. You know what? And what? it's hard because people don't always realize that physical syndromes like headaches, teeth grinding, and even digestive scissions can be indicators of stress. And let's not forget about doom scrolling, sleeping too little, sleeping too much. I'm not great at reading. <laughs> <laughs> under eating and overeating guys we're clearly talking about none <laughs> better help and this podcast is sponsored by better help stress shows up in all kinds of ways all right and in a world that's telling you to do more and sleep less and grind all the time here's your reminder to take care of yourself and do less and maybe try some therapy yeah right? you don't need to be gary v <clears throat> to take care of your mental mentality that's why you need therapy. Do dude, we, is that, are we done with the ad? That I has mean, to be that's, it. That's incredible. it, dude. Dude. That's it. Listen, you need help. You, most, might not, you might not think you do. Most people do. Most not, people do. Most yeah. people do. But, but sometimes you might not think you need it, and then you dabble in that world, and you're like, damn, I got emotions and feelings. Buddy, let me tell you something. I've said this a hundred times on every single one of these ads. We are a huge proponent of therapy. Therapy has helped us get through... Uh, the pandemic, I couldn't have got through the pandemic without therapy. Um, it's helped me understand my emotions more and then thus my ability to articulate my emotions to my partner. It's helped me in a variety of ways. It's incredible. Trev's a big uh, proponent of therapy as well. So listen, um, and with BetterHelp, dude, it's just easier, okay? BetterHelp is customized online therapy that offers video, phone, and even live chat sessions with your therapist. So you don't have to see anyone on camera if you don't want to, okay? Yeah. It's much more affordable than in-person therapy all right so give it a try and see if online therapy can help lower your stress and improve your happiness okay so stiff socks listeners yep. that's you guys get 10 percent off your first month at betterhelp.com slash socks one more time that's betterhelp.com slash socks b-e-t-t-e-r-h-e-l-p.com slash socks thank you better help god damn what would you do in that situation it's 25 percent tip yeah what are you doing 
they hand it to you. The thing is already toggled. Is that the right word? Mm -hmm. Yep. Whoa. It's toggling over 25. Yeah. You can switch it to 20 or 18. Or you you pull a real inner J move and you go other. If and you, you add it in yourself. But it, oh, if you hit the other and you don't go above 25%, you're awful. Oh, you, you know, hit other. You know what I do? I just get nervous. I take the machine out of her hand. I throw it through the window and I run out. Sir, what, what are you actually doing? Um, what I'm actually doing is if they are, because <clears throat> I generally tip always 20% unless, we've talked about this before, unless right, you do right. something wild, yeah, yeah, it's yeah. always 20%. So realistically, I'm just doing 25. Yeah. Because it's like, it's 5% more than I would, unless it's like a thousand dollar bill and that 5% is, is a lot. If it's it, like- I mean, it was, it was definitely, <clears throat> I mean, yeah. whatever, but- Yeah, no, no, I, I hear you. But I do- it's just the fact that they're like holding it. I think had they set it on the table, I would have just done what I always do, which is like twenty. Yeah, because the the food was fine. Yeah, but they the thing is they know what they're doing, like 100%. they know what they're doing. Hundred um, percent. You can program all the things to do that. Yeah. What was really cool the last time I had one of those drop off things, the dude immediately. Oh, it was in uh, Indianapolis. The dude was incredibly nice. Like the whole time, food fast, coffee was great, everything was great. Uh, he came by like, you know how people come by too much and you're like, all right, we're good? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The amount of times, just twice is great. Everything good? Everything tasting okay? Yes. And then maybe 15 minutes later, you guys need some uh, refills? That's it. Two. Great. So he did that. Everything perfect. And then when he came by with the machine, he dropped it off, said thank you guys so much, and then bounced. Right. And then I was like, oh, now you're getting more. And then it usually like, you pay and then it like, lights up green or whatever. Yeah. 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 No, but th yeah, that's how I feel, right? Yeah. 25% sanding over, so it's, it's, it's fucked. It's fucked yeah. because you know what you're doing. You, it's, yeah. yeah, it's the same thing when somebody was like holding up their my Instagram and be like, oh, I just followed you, man. I'm, that you gonna follow me was back? You wild, gonna follow me dude. Like that, it's like she's standing here because now if I go to 20%, she might, she might be like, mm, what does that say about me? Yeah. That's too hard on her to yeah. see that. But if you get, I don't know, it's so weird. What's the country that doesn't tip? Mm, it's like I the UK. A lot, a lot of, of UK countries. because yeah. they, get, they get paid like racks. To yeah, well, that's they, what they do in the states, right? Is they just like uh, restaurants don't have to pay minimum wage; they can pay people like four or five bucks an hour, and then. Did you guys about the Australian waiter I had? No, a couple weeks ago. Was he hot? He, he was hot, of course. But he was hot, but he just didn't care about his job. You did, you did say this, yeah, yeah. And I think when you're just you don't you don't have to fight for the tips. You don't care. That's just is that what Australians do? They move here and they go, "How can I fuck?" Well, I'll be a waiter. Yeah, <clears throat> or, or they go, "Well, I haven't booked anything." So now I need to pay my rent. But this dude seemed like he just wanted to be here. Like if you asked him what his what he, his goals are, are here, he'd probably say just vibe and then hit you with a hang loose. <laughs> just just vibe, just vibe. Get into some pussy. Just vibe. That's what just you want to do. If I ever ask my kid and he goes just vibe, I'm throwing him off the La Quinta. I don't want a bullshit kid. You know what I mean? What are you doing if you like? If you, but the thing what is, is, every kid a, has that phase where you like rebel, fuck everything. I don't. God, I just I look back at eighteen year old me and be like, you're such an idiot. Yeah. I mean, I, I'm very happy, happy that I turned out the way I did, and that I found comedy and and the fact that I wanted to do this. But there was part of me where I was just like, I don't even care, man. Fuck it. Yeah. All this corporate shit. Once you're eighteen, talking about corporate shit, it's like you know two brands: Powerade, Gatorade, Mountain Dew. <laughs> That's that was three. three. I don't know much, but hey, Powerade and Gatorade are synonymous. They're probably owned by the same people. Powerade trash. Whoa. Yeah, hot the blue take, Powerade? trash. I Powerade, like I yeah. like the bottle Powerade better. Has better grip than what? Oh, the bottle for sure. Yeah, dude, the blue Powerade don't sleep. What did Powerade do? Are they still good? Did they get canceled? I I don't know if they got canceled, but they just no one drinks Propel? it. It's fine. Propel's average. Yeah, I don't know. It, it it never tasted cold. You know what Gatorade just came out with? I really appreciate it. it's uh like extra electrolytes. It's like the smaller one. Honestly, here's the thing about science. You can say anything on a bottle and I'll be like, well, that's what it is. BCAAs, all right. Right. Yeah. Science is a hoax. Yeah. When the I found out Gatorade wasn't good for you, I blew my mind. Yeah. I was like, every soccer practice, I was like, where's my Gatorade? Yeah. And they're like, it's a lot of sugar. I'm like, yeah, but Gatorade. 68. Dude, it's the same thing what? with like naked juice. Yep. Oh, that they, fucked me up. There's like 80 grams of sugar. You're like, but it's fruit. And they're like, asterisk. Also, what is the difference between like, we know they're like 80 grams of sugar, but it's like from the fruit. What does that mean? So there's fruit sugar and also bullshit sugar? What is okay? Can I have the fruit sugar? Answer me. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Yeah, like, I, mean, I know it's a like- There's a thousand percent scientific answer here, but- Yeah, I, I mean, what, here's the thing. Everything changes every That's three so seconds. So what that. is good for you? What's good for you? Pussy? <laughs> Maybe, and that's not even good for you. 
Is it not? Too much. I think it may be too much. Is there mm. too much sex, Gabriel? Can you look that yeah, up? What is too addicts. much sex? When that's Just all a you can picture think of, of me? When, when all you can think about is sex. Yeah, you, you wake up and you're like, Cheerios? Dangerous? I'd fuck this bowl of Cheerios. When you turn anything into a sexual thought or experience. So this podcast. Yeah. Uh-huh. I mean, why do you think we all leave here with rock hard cocks on the one-on-one after this? Dude, I, I would say how often do you jack off after this podcast? I'm usually too tired. Yes, but but in reality, how I, not a lot. <laughs> um, I don't either. Well, it, it depends on what Dude, episode. My wild semen hours are like two a.m. Wild semen hours are two a.m. I'm too tired at two a.m. Sometimes I jack my cock just because I'm just like I guess this is what I'm gonna do next. The worst is when you beat your little cockaroony and you're and you don't fall asleep. You're like I did. That the, is the I worst. did the deed. I I did the melatonin. Hey, work. Please. I, I didn't come <laughs> on my own belly like, to fucking be awake. That's what the hard part about some of these, like, uh, you know, the shows and, and the tour schedule is interesting because it's like, we'll sleep till like 1 or 2 p.m. Yeah. because of the time, time difference, difference yeah. which for us is like 9 or 10 or 10 or 11. Sorry, math. And then we're, we're, so we sleep in and then we drink a fuck ton of caffeine and then you're done with the show at like 1130 and you're like, okay, I have a flight at 6 a.m. Yeah. But the 11.30 is, is, is 8.30. Yeah, is which right? is 8.30. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, exactly. It's trying to go to bed at like 9.30. And yeah. you're like, well, I, there's so much caffeine running through my body. Well, Pornhub, you better help me out. Doesn't. Then you beat your meat. And you're just sitting there just watching the TV guy at the hotel being like, hey, it's me, Mario Lopez. Like, How the fuck are you still alive? <laughs> Dude, that guy books gigs. Has anybody, yeah. who's, who do you think says yes to more gigs? Snoop Dogg or Shaq? Snoop Dogg. Snoop, is he be working. Yeah, I mean, Snoop Dogg has, like, potato chips. He owns property in the metaverse. But, yeah, I just saw a billboard today. Snoop Dogg's doing a new show with uh, Kelly Clarkson. I think we forget that Clay, Kelly Clarkson can sing her tits off. Yeah, and she has her own show. Yeah. She has her own uh, Kelly that Clarkson. That show, I'm going to say this. Hot take. Terrible. The Kelly Clarkson show? Holy Toledo. I don't think you're her demo. What do you mean? I don't think a guy <laughs> you don't think jerks so? off to fucking <laughs> overalls to the body that is, and feet Tell is me her that type. Time. Tell me that, you know what? I don't like this. It wasn't an accurate representation of what she was wearing. It, the seams were too much. The seams are too much. Do you? But do you like any of those shows, like the Wendy Williams show? No. Or yeah, the what's there's another one I can picture her. It starts with a D. Mm. Maybe Nam. Demi. Demi Lovato. No. Mar Margaret Cho. <laughs> no. Emma Williams. No. Uh, uh, what does she look like? White. Drew Barrymore. Drew oh, Barrymore. Uh, Have you, you ever seen the Drew Barrymore? Honestly, listen, I, th I actually think Drew Barrymore is a sensational actress. A lot of her movies are great. Her show, it, I feel like she drinks like half a bottle of white wine but before she wakes up. But why are you watching up. these? Because I these see clips. These are for you. Because I see clips. The entire thing's like, huh, oh my God, you make it. Like, but the, it's, it's for a lot of moms at home who are just also Corny. doing that. They're chugging some pino, staring at the kid, be like, I hope he's a good man one day. Yeah. And the kid is just chewing on Legos. I'm like, that's my boy. <laughs> How many Legos do you think has been shit out? Dude, I used to chew on the, the tiles for Legos. I, like the oh car Oh my ones. God, I did too. I, dude, th those were my five gum. How it feels to chew on Lego tires. How come they never made a Lego horny? <laughs> <laughs> they never made one hot woman Lego. Or even a hot dude Lego. Just regular people walking around re holding wrenches. They all look like little mini Johnny Sins. You can put hair on them, though. But yeah, but I mean, no, they didn't make one. You know how Barbie's hot? You know how Ken's hot? Yeah. Yeah, exactly. But they didn't. Maybe they were trying to do that to like try and like help <clears throat> society and be like, there is no such thing as hot. There's just humans. Get yeah, they need, <laughs> they need dicks. They need dicks. Mr. Potato Head, you could probably... Was he... Yeah. Was he packing? That's um, the poorest toy I think you could have. <laughs> <laughs> no, the poorest toy ever is a fucking sandbox. He does No, because you got to still in... Like, if you have a sandbox at your house, you're balling. Oh, I'm at saying, your like, house. Like, yeah, the, yeah. Like, like the toy. Sandbox is funny. You're just a big cat. Sandbox is hilarious. Like, no, how big much cat. COVID... <laughs> <laughs> how much COVID exists in... San Sandbox? Just kids in a sandbox throwing <laughs> sand around? You fucking Dude, orphan. but I'm telling you, when you be on the swings and you just launch off and land in the sand, you feel like yep. Spider-Man. Oh, my God, yeah. Yeah. What's the worst toy on a swing, on a, on a playground? 
Um, we just had like a random like tube. It just looked like maybe like the inside of a Pringles can. Tube's weird. Like, you know what you... one's really fun? Seesaw. That's like we used to, that's how you we fig- used to spray WD-40 on the monkey bars. Oh, oh, that's <laughs> fucking hilarious. I mean, how many kids are paralyzed because of you? <laughs> that's fucked up. Three. Jesus. No, yeah, we'd go there on like Sunday and just spray it. God. We said, uh, what is it? Graffiti, that shit. With what, like Sharpies? No. Uh, oh my God, it was, you know those... They weren't the big markers. Yeah, the big. Oh, one. that's like for real, like yeah. criminal activities. Well, we I got in so much trouble because we did it before the playground was done. So they're like still building it, and we're like fucking shit. up brand new shit. Do you think anybody? You know when there's like oh those were those were you hard. guys have one of these? They don't for the playgrounds. I never dude, you're on top of one of those. That was like being dude. If you're on top of one of those, that was like being at bottle service right there. <laughs> yeah. You're on top of that bitch. And girls are climbing up to you, and you're like, oh, getting fucking the dumb kids are in the fucking the the bottom of it, the yeah. pit. That's we so got those funny. taken out of my school in like fourth grade because they were really? too dangerous. Yeah. I got a hand job on one of those tubes. Before. No, you didn't. <laughs> no, one of the plastic ones? Really? Yeah. What? Dude, but like in high school when there's nowhere to go. You had those in high school? Buddy, at like other, not like at our high school. Like <laughs> at like playgrounds when we were like fuck around. You we had went no... to go hook up at a playground? We used to do that. We would go to like, like parks and playgrounds and shit. Parks yeah. for sure. Yeah. Playgrounds, small swings. Some about swings can get romantic quick. Yeah. What is that? I hate swing. It makes me nauseous. It makes you feel weird. Yeah. Wah, 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 wah. Yep. Do you guys know the Met Gala's tonight? Who? What's that? The Met Gala? Oh, you know the, the New York What's the Mets? point of that? What's that? What is the point of it? They're just like, I let think... me just wear a nice fit. Who is the Met? What Met, are they uh, Museum of Metropolitan Art or something? Art's dumb. Metropolitan? Neapolitan ice cream. Where Fire. are you at? Solid. Do you go all three at once or you go individuals? Individuals, I'm an idiot. All three sounds awesome. I don't know why I've never yeah. done all you three. You can get a Neapolitan shake in and out? No. Yeah. You can, they have strawberry? Strawberry, chocolate, vanilla. They have strawberry? Yeah. I've been out in these streets ordering vanilla shakes from Goddamn In and Out when they have strawberry. Yeah, you like strawberry Sh- shakes? Yeah. Do you like strawberry milk? Sir! That's my favorite. Yeah, it is. From quick to nest quick? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fuck. I don't Fuck. think it's milk, is it? It's definitely not milk. It, it's yeah, God's cum. Because. <laughs> Because when they ship it to the stores, it's still, it's not refrigerated. Maybe. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know I, what I, do. I feel like I'm a lot of fake news. I'm sorry. Yeah. yeah. Everything, I don't know what the hell I'm talking about. Met Gala. Met Gala, Met Gala. honestly, real quick, dumb. Hey, you want to dress weird as shit and look at paintings? No. That's everything, though. Is it? New York Fashion Week? Dumb. It's more so for your Instagram. Yeah, there's tits. Like, huh? I'm just saying fashion week. Yeah, you're like, here's me wearing a snowboard. And people are like, all right, yeah. Cool. I just, I just want people to be like, I just want people to deep down be like, is this cool or am I faking this? Like, like when you see somebody wearing the lid of a trash can as a bra, yeah. and everyone's like, oh, whoa, artistic, metallic. And it's like, no, that's Wednesday. Yeah. Oh, I understand. Yeah. That's I, Wednesday. Take it out. <clears throat> I think they know it's weird. I'd dress yeah. like Captain Underpants, except I'd be naked and wouldn't have a belt on my forehead. Okay. Arrested. I'd just be streaking. Arrested. Don't you think if any, like, if out of, like, doesn't flashing, uh, okay, aside from the horrendous crime, sounds kind of fun. It does. It's very freeing. You get to wear new balances and a trench coat. That's pretty sick. What type of world are we living in where you get to do that? What type of world are we living in you can't do that? Well, I would, like, open it but not have, like, I'd have, like, you know how those guns say, like, bang? I'd mm-hmm. have, like, that. Like, it wouldn't actually flash somebody. You ever seen those masks that you wear that are masks but they have the, the picture the of face? your face? That's yeah. what I would have. I would have a picture of my, like, a onesie, a picture of my cock on there and be like, ha! Ah! And everyone, oh, my God, not real. Can you get in trouble for that? You can't. <laughs> I don't think you can. Why? My cock's not out. That's not real. That's wild. And i do it way Dude, big. you could do this with, with pants. Yeah. You could do this with a onesie. Dude, that's you can be what, naked in a onesie, yes. but clothed in a onesie. Huh? Whoa, Drake Lee. Yeah. Onesie, one, you can't see. see. Man, semen. Gabe. Hit it. Sock talk. Let's do some sock talk. You love me. Are you riding? We were just in the home of the six with Drake. We was there. were. He wasn't there. Six Scott wasn't there? Toonies. Loonies and Toonies. He wasn't there. Canada people, you guys were wild. Oh, yeah, they were great. Yeah. Within 30 seconds, gotta go, show me your cock. And he did. And he wasn't wearing a onesie. This is a sock talk here. This is from Riley. And Riley says, uh, yes. if you were having a two guy, one girl threesome and the other dude came, but you knew you could go for a while longer, would you come quicker to not embarrass him? Or would nope. you keep going and try to seem like a lion of a guy? I would keep going extra long. I started thinking what? about my grandma's hands and yeah, I would just what go. What is this? I'd look at that guy this right in the face and be like, you ain't shit. And keep pumping it's along. It's like a sentimental like Olympic story where like somebody guy like tears his ACL and you go back and you help him hobble across the finish line. Mm-hmm. So you... This sounds really personal. Like I think he yep. had this happen. Yeah, yeah. You could you could help the guy out. You could How? like 
You'd be like, open Pop, your mouth, blue throw chew. a blue chew in there, yeah. jerk him off while you're fucking his wife, no. and then he can get back in there. Well, it depends on the situation. Like, if it was his girl and he was having you over as a guest, like a friend. You're right. You got to come fast. Yeah. You can't be piping his girl. Plowing. Yeah, as he's, like, towel off. But if you guys are all there because you met on Craigslist, you might be like, hey, man, I drove 43 minutes in traffic. I'm going to get this yeah, nut off. Yeah, I used an easy pass. <laughs> <laughs> I'm illegally yeah, parked like in a loading zone. Get pussy? Yes. Easy pass pussy. Easy pass pussy. Title? Could be a title. Could be a title. Do they have easy pass in, in Iowa? I think so. There's somebody right now in Waterloo, Iowa getting clapped out. Yeah, in a barn by their stepdad while pigs watch. <laughs> Waterloo, Iowa. It's a real place. Please write in if you listen from Waterloo, Iowa. Someone did. I, dude, we, I, I mean. What's the population of Waterloo? Let's find out. Probably 12. Dude, I think they were on Patreon. I'm finna get married in Waterloo, Iowa. <clears throat> Some of the seven. names of the. Uh, Shout out to the girl I used to beat from Waterloo, dude, Iowa. Waterloo, Iowa, 67,000. That's like my hometown. Cedar Rapids, Cedar Falls, a lot of cedar going on. A lot of pipe, a lot of wood. Wood, pipe, pipe wood. Um, but yeah, I think Waterloo. I think if you met the girl, I mean if you met on Craigslist, you can keep beating, that's fine. But if it's and if it's your girlfriend or wife, you can keep beating, that's fine. Mm -hmm. But bro, if that's his girlfriend or wife, you gotta either have a halftime speech with him, give him some Gatorade, blue chew, smack him on the ass. Or hear me out. Okay. Where did the first guy come? If if it's an accessible place, I'm scooping a little in my hand. No, you're not. And be like, and then I'll be like, oh, dude, yeah, I just came too. Throw it on her and, and then keep going. Oh, wow, well, I guess I'm so hard. That's true. Or I'd scrape it and start eating it. <laughs> <laughs> yep. He gets hard again. That's what I'm saying. The, the goal there, if it's his wife or girlfriend, is you need, to get, you need to get that guy hard again or you need to come lickety split. Because that you can't, unless what, he's what, into that. What are you for real doing if you're having a threesome? It's like you, you're like, well, foursome. Yeah. It's, okay. Give it, give it to me. What are you doing if you're in a foursome? Yeah. Right? It's, and you and the other guy switch, so you're not banging his girl. Yeah. Right? Yeah. And now your lady is currently with the homie, and she's moaning louder than you ever heard her. And she's she's giving signs. She's gripping blankets. She's tearing wow. holes in duvet covers. Wow. She's punching drywall. Yeah. Um. She starts belting out lines from Hamlet. Holy shit. What are you, what are you for real doing? Um... I, I, I'm letting her get clapped out, and then I'm never talking to her again. <laughs> oh, no. Would you try to go <clears throat> thus, then harder with the girl you're currently oh, with? Oh, 100%. If we're answering for real? Yeah, for real. Oh, I'm, oh, I'm, oh, I'm, yeah. What oh, is I'm that doing emotion? everything. Are you, are, are you, so are you mad at her, or are you mad at the guy, or are you mad to you put yourself in that situation, or are you like, you know what, fuck it, I'm going to just try and do what I can do? I, I don't know if I'm mad. I'm just competitive. Yeah, so when you hear somebody peeing louder than you at the airport, do you yeah. try to push louder on yes. your stream? Yes. Hit direct water? Yes. Pee I, be foaming. I actually get closer. To them? No, I lean closer to the, to the water uh, so it's deeper. Yeah. I pour an Aquafina in there. <sighs> that's wild. Dude, I've heard people with streams that I'm like, that's not real. You are a water buffalo. You can floss with it. M I mean, dude, you could, that's a Six Flags <laughs> water ride. That's like the log ride. I don't like it. Does Why it mean have, you have a bigger urethra, or does that actually so. mean you have a bigger pee-pee? I think both. You got a bigger hemi and a bigger exhaust. God. Because when I pee sometimes, it sounds like a fucking Civic. And not a it's Fast and Fiesta. Furious one. Yeah. Yeah. Like a Kia Soul that's like, and it makes me embarrassed. Yeah. But sometimes, I, I'm like, whoa, I got a Dodge Charger? You got to hit the right angles. Yeah. You had enough pee in there. Sometimes I'll pee into a Pepsi can just to alert the people near me. It's not a bad idea. Yeah. Or I play on Spotify loud pee noises. Now that. Is that on here? Sometimes I go like this. Just to throw them off the scent. Do you guys aim? Maybe we've talked about this. Do you aim for the for the middle of the bowl or the sides of the bowl? Um, I do the sides until I know what I'm working with. And mm -hmm. if I have a strong stream, I go in the middle. Yeah. I but typed in loud pee noises on Spotify. And the second one is pussy licking and rough sex. Erotic audio for women. Play it now. What is this gonna be? Just a guy make ha, just have a good job. Fuck. How many hours? How many hours has your cunt been fucking wet? 
How many hours is it coming? What what is this? Put it to the mic. I can't hear it. Is this a a, a job? All right, I'm gonna go back real quick. Fuck. Let me taste that. I love how your fucking pussy tastes. Meanwhile, this it's been horny and dripping all fucking. Wait for it. The next line. Fuck. How many hours? How many hours has your cunt been fucking wet? How many? Hours? This is a nine to five job. Also, what's hilarious? This guy's in a studio making out yes. with a fucking cantaloupe. Hundred <laughs> percent. Just saying wild shit. There's nine minutes of this. Dude, Dude, do you think someone wrote this or do you think he's riffing? Because if he's riffing, he's doing a great job. He's talking way too much for it to be actually happening. Yeah, it's Every, too much. You ever, seen, yeah, you ever seen a person on the phone on the movie when they when they like they pick up, they're like, hello? I'll yeah. be there. Yeah, There's yeah. not enough time. Yeah, exactly. Also, he's smacking in that puss. There's no connection. He's a it's like yeah. a dog when it gets peanut butter. So, dude, sometimes when you, sometimes girls doming me off, it's like almost too much. We're like, I'm like, we're a pussy. A, calm down. You don't like it? It's too. Sometimes it's too much. Sometimes like this is not authentic. Just and it, just do it. <laughs> authentic. Dude, yeah. I don't, well, neither is a cock in the mouth. Yes, it is. That's how God intended it. Yesterday was strung bony, and I was throwing a conch in there. You know what's odd? The universe is looking down at us, being like, "What are y'all <laughs> doing?" Same with vagina. Vagina's like, just I, I go in there. Yeah, Let give me get me that. that. Uh, this is hilarious. You, you know the TikToks where they're like, "Hey man, what are you listening to?" I'm this. Mm -hmm. Hey man, what are you listening to? <laughs> Pussy licking and rough sex erotic <laughs> audio That's for so women. Weird. So women just be jerking off to that, probably. Also, the guy sounds like he's Hold a construction up. worker. He doesn't even sound like he has a good Exotic job. audio for women. Let me see how many views they're doing. Can we get a... a oh, this a, is like podcast. Big cock... Whoa, 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 whoa. Dude, we just discovered a whole new subcategory on Spotify. This one's called Big Cock Boss Eats Your Ass and Fucks Your Cunt. Play it. May I come in? May I come in? Excellent. Excellent? <laughs> this is a ballet boy. Yeah. This sounds like Chick-fil-A employees fucking. Yeah. I'd be lying if I told you I hadn't thought of this before. Fast. Too forward. fast. Mm, let me mm, here. Bend over. Let's bend over the bed, right? Oh, there. That's a good girl. Mm, so I just. Oh fuck. Oh, I need. I fucking need. need. No. It's, this it, guy sounds like he's preparing for a monologue. This is fucking this, it's stupid. It's too fast. An experienced older guy takes you in the library. <laughs> I mean, this is, dude. If he starts reading, dude, I'm just gonna read some of these titles. I mean, these are great. Bent over your desk at work and fucked by a big cock. Look, it's specific. audio. <laughs> it's audio. Too specific. What type of desk? How is this on Spotify? Are they doing ad reads? And then in the middle of it, and headspace. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking your brother-in-law. <laughs> okay, this is this is great. Give it to me. Fucking your brother-in-law during a July 4th barbecue. <laughs> These are really specific, dude. You're just, Fucking you're your just here fireworks a going off. kid's foot locker. This one's just called chilling with your friend. Who the hell wants to chill with your friend? <laughs> Give me a hand job. Oh my god, these are great. Gentle Dom boyfriend praises you plus spoils and gentle spanks your Dom? pussy. What the yeah. hell's a gentle Dom? Fucking in a public movie theater. You just hear in the background the oh, Avengers. Yeah, it's so good. <laughs> Hiding in a closet with your brother's submissive best friend. What? That's Dude, hot. there's tits in there. There's a tits in their like thumbnail. Spotify. They're on Anchor? Play something. Dude. Play this? something. Uh, Alright, let me find the wildest one. Yeah, yeah. Are there any for guys? Yeah, it's called Joe Rogan Podcast. Hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm going to read one more. Dude, this is wild. Oh, Jesus Christ. Dude. I love how the a sock talk got us here. Yeah, this is incredible. Your brother's best friend cannot handle your teasing, gang bang. Yes, bias. yes, yes. Because that means, oh, play it. Your brother's best friend cannot handle. Your brother's best friend. Dude, your sister. They start with the Pornhub intro. Can't do that. I mean, legal. They're just playing a point. He'll be home in an hour. Australians. An hour? Always yeah, Australians. No, fine. Who says I'm when they're leaving? Until you get back. <laughs> Don't worry. I won't break anything. He, All right. Bye. He's not talking to anybody. Is this guy running a monologue in his head? This is the same guy? Wow. Well, look who's here. Oh, God. This guy doesn't know how to how read. What are you doing? <laughs> he doesn't know how to have sex. Good. This is like a, Except are I, people uh, like responding? To All right, I'm, I'm going to be the girl. Something. All right. Yeah. What did you want to talk to me about? You know, if you're not busy. I'm actually pretty busy. I've cool. been calling four minutes. I wanted to ask you why you're teasing me so much behind your brother's back. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm horny. You think I'm exaggerating? <laughs> uh, last week. Do you remember what you did? Yeah, I was doing the dishes Let and I dropped one. the memory of yours. Okay. What did I do? I was sitting down watching Netflix while your brother was in the kitchen. 
Yeah, that's where you cook. But you came in and saw my hand holding the remote. And yeah, that's what you just do. happened to sit right on top of it. Yeah, because I want to fuck your brains out. Now you accidentally <laughs> just grabbed my crotch. It's fucking boring. Fast right. forward. Let's go. Uh, let's go yeah, to give minute me nine. the noises. Also, I want to whisper right in your ear. Then do it, pussy. He is. How much of a good slut you are being. You know, it's funny. There's an audio engineer being like, "Are we peak levels on that? Can we do the brothers teasing boyfriend one more time? Eating your pussy into okay. Eating yep. your pussy until your anxiety goes away. I'm gonna try that on my girlfriend." Eating your pussy until Shy you're nerds finally meet for each other. A uh, professor fucks student to get his grades up. Yep. You know, that's <sighs> not the only thing getting up. Cock, let's go. Hold on. Dude, these are just on here. I want to be a teacher for like two years just to have those experiences. Yeah. Big cock stranger fucks you and sucks your tits. What's with all the big cock stuff? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> can, we get, can we get medium to small cock enjoying a picnic with his lovely girlfriend? Because this guy's not even acting like he's got a big cock. He's still walking in the room like, oh, you saw me holding her mouth. No, 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 no. Talk about the pool noodle in your pants. I just want to know, like, wh- how would the guy with an average cock enter the room? He'd be like, hi. Yeah, but no, but it's like, me. look, I, I think we're both coming from an angle where we both have like very average cocks. But like, yeah. if you're trying to get freaky, you can still get freaky. If anything, you're talking more because you're trying to compensate for what you got down there. Yeah, I mean, I'm yeah, I'm 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 going in there with uh, with some heaters. I can't. Uh, yeah. you, you can't open with hey, God, hello. This is just how are on you? here. I I can't believe people listen to it. How many subscribers they got? I don't know. All right. What if you got if you got an email pitch like hey, come on my podcast? We got a huge audience, and they were like, but they were like, you, I need you to guest on this. <laughs> what if this was my number one it? artist for Spotify Unwrapped? <laughs> <laughs> <That's> <laughs> <right>. <laughs> hey man, what are you listening to? No one rides for free. Erotic music audio for adult. Fucking in a public movie theater. This is the last one, then we'll move on. I just wanted to hear if, what movie's in the background. Stop playing you the You can't porno. do that. I think it's only fair that I at least get something on. Hey, shut up and draw this in the movie. <laughs> Come here. All this fucking town. What do you say? All this town? All this cum? Where's the video version when you need it? I think Die Hard's playing. Some kind of a horror movie? Yeah, he's watching Nightmare Before Christmas. Nightmare Before Halloween. Wouldn't it be so funny if he's in the front everyone's like, We can see you! <laughs> These mouth noises in my ears are aggressive. I'm sorry, Gabe, you have to edit this. Alright. More of the story. Yeah. More of the story is like, this isn't the ho- most horny podcast in the world. No. That is Is crazy. this a podcast? The podcast we're doing you right said now it's or that? on Anchor? Both. Yeah, that's just an audio yeah. thing. If it's on Anchor, it sounds like a podcast. It's just called Erotic Audio for Adult. Let's it's get him on the pod. Dude. Well, it's just really funny. Um, it's just it, the, the whole idea of them doing it in a booth is so goddamn funny. Someone like moves to Los Angeles to make it and they got hired to do this and they're doing that. How much are they getting paid? They're yeah. getting paid in a theory. Remember in the beginning of the podcast when we tried to get new microphones and they were all sold out, all the nice ones? Yes, because yep. this guy is fucking jamming one in his asshole right now. Jesus Christ. I love the way you rub my cock in the middle of this Arby's. We if have only we went over and... <laughs> all right, let's do one right now. Uh, hey, what's up? I didn't see you over there not sucking my cock. What? Yeah. I'm late for work, excuse me. Well, you better call your boss and tell him not only are you late... But you're coming in two different ways. What does that mean? You're going to come sexually. I'm going to come? Yeah. Where am I going? Girl who doesn't know what's going to happen. Excuse me. I really. I'm just, the girl who gets killed first in every movie has a sex scene. It's like, I work at Baskin Robbins. Excuse me. I'm really. Yeah. Late. Well, let's just say now there's 32 flavors. No, there's only 31. Guess what the newest one added for the seasonal I, menu is? I didn't even get this email. My cock. Your cock. I, is it. How you do want you a even, spoon sample? We're not allowed to give those because it's COVID. You know what else you're not allowed to give because <laughs> of COVID? Huh? These stupid excuses. Come over here and rub my nipples so I lactate oat milk. Oh, my God. We're actually out of oat milk at the store, so this is probably perfect. Well, cool. Have you ever heard of cock milk? That's not even a real milk. I missed the email again. <laughs> <laughs> Look, we should probably get out of here. The, okay, what if I'm the manager at Barnes & Nobles finds us back here? I don't even know how to read. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. It's just so funny to me. This guy is alone back there. He's clipping it. He's clicking upload. You think he, he people are, this? You know what's crazy? People are on the fucking Greyhound right now going to Seattle blasting that. 
Busting that. Yeah. And they're not using their phone on a tripod. They're cock. Wow. Yeah. I mean, no, but this is this is not for, first of all, this is, you know how girls are like, oh, dudes are so horny. Are we? We yeah. don't have fucking audio that's like this. But he's making that. He's well, I guess making it, but he's making it for women. So it's obviously a really <sighs> high demand. Women out here just fucking sitting on goddamn Merlot bottles. How many times do you think like he's in the middle of like the most passionate scene ever? And then all of a sudden like his dog barks. He's like, Frankie, shut the fuck up. You know what's worse? His daughter goes, dad, dad. <laughs> God damn it. He just has to change the title. Huh? He just has to change the title. Yeah. And he goes, dot, 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 wall babysitting. That's all you have to do. Oh my God. Yeah. Step bro, stepsister, get it on. Wall babysitting. Also, that happens so much. Can you what? imagine being the parents? Hey, can you stop fucking on the left? How many seat? times do you think that you interrupted your mom or dad in the middle of intercourse? Because like, I can't sleep at night. And your dad's just fully rocked up. And he's like, yeah, go, the melatonin's in the fridge. Knock yourself out. What a fucking cock block. I got one question. What's a dad? <laughs> <laughs> I'll show you. Angry stepdad yells at son. I can't wait to blast this in my car on the way home. My stepdad used to open the door while I'm shitting and stay there way too long. <laughs> well, I got news about your stepdad. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, sorry. Um, yeah, he'd be like, "Hey, oh, sorry," and I'm like, "What's up?" I'm like, "Oh, just you know, dinner." And I'm like sitting there shitting. Yeah, erotic adult films for people on Spotify. Stepdad opens while you're taking a number two, but he wants you to be your number one. While babysitting, <laughs> <laughs> everything's while babysitting. All right, let's get to a god darn yeah, secret. We got a secret Socks. So much better. Um, yeah, there we go. Yeah, Secret Sock Anonymous Submission says, My girlfriend was giving me a hand job and right. she went to put a finger in my ass. Yes. We've done it before. Now that's a bop it. <laughs> Twist it. Uh, uh, she has acrylic nails. Oh, hold up. She started pushing and it started hurting. Ow. We stopped. About five hours later, I'm taking a shit and I wipe, same way Trevor does, oh, and I geez. find out my ass is bleeding. Yes. So. Fuck. The nail in the ass? Yeah. Did she? I mean, it's better than I thought. The story was gonna go. She lost the fingernail. Ooh, that's what ass. I thought too. Yeah, no, yeah, yeah, just a little, yeah. just a little bleeding, internal bleeding. Oh, I've had that before. Even mm. when a girl doesn't have like the long ones. Oh, well, I just, think like, you just go medium size. You, you just use the, the side with all the what are the, fingerprints? You know, push. Yeah, push I think up. I think it's I think it's a lot of people thinking there's a finger actually in the asshole. Yes, because it sounds like it was deep. Yeah. This sounds like he's checking for his prostate. Yeah, or looking for a hemorrhoid. Yeah. She double fingered me. The doctor. Two fingers. Audio. <laughs> Podcaster gets fingered by doctor. Walt Babyson. <laughs> <laughs> Submissive podcaster gets double dom fingered by doctor. Dude, these aren't his first take too. Like, you know, he like flubs a word. Oh yeah. But it is all, all off the dome. You ever flub a word during dirty talk? It's just weird to like you're in the middle of this, and then the pizza guy knocks. He's like, yeah, I guess nobody's home. I had a gig. I hit him with a fuck my pussy a lot, and I'm like, this sounds, is it, it's not, I understand what I'm saying, but it does. You, wait, what? You say that? I hit her with the fuck, get, like, I'm going to fuck my put. like, this is my pussy type thing. But sometimes mm. when you word it out of context, you say, fuck my pussy, I'm going to fuck my pussy, and you're like, yeah. hold on. Yeah. Well, Whose pussy up. is this? It's also funny just to ask in the middle of a room. It's yeah. like, well, I would I would assume it's the person who's connected to it. Yeah. Also, hey, whose pussy is this? It's funny. Dirty yeah. talk can be hard or it can be just confusing. Um, who's? Yeah, you just found one in between the couch cushions. This? Yeah. Excuse what's me. Hi. Uh, now boarding terminal forty eight. If you have a lost pussy, whose is it? Why do people be always losing shit? What's your go to doc? Dirty talk. What's your yeah, because I feel like you're all up in this. Oh, I'm so Mrs. B, my little fucking aunt on this spicy log. It's pretty good. Yeah, it's pretty good. Be the peanut butter to my celery. I'm a big like. Uh, oh, what's a big one? You like beg for it and. Oh yeah, beg for it. You talk to your girlfriend like you talk to Gigi. Hey, you come a bit at the Govan now. You did a bit a bit. Okay, to please go. don't ever say that. You better come a bit now. Yep. This is Captain GJ of the USS. We've I love them. you. Reporting for duty, my big daddy girl. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool, cool, cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Man loses his mind while babysitting. <laughs> uh, but I had this I had this fucking gig one time where I was supposed to edit these meditations for this this doctor, and he would send me this raw audio, and it's him doing this nice, gentle meditation. Yeah. But So I'd, like, you know, I'd be relaxed, I'm editing, and then all of a sudden he would go, <laughs> Motherfuck, oh. God damn it. So... 
<laughs> Everyone, I just want you to take it. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Somebody's yeah. cutting these clips for him. Yeah. A helicopter flew by when he was about to lick this girl's clit, and he was like, oh, God damn it. Well, let's get him on the podcast. I don't phone. like it. I don't like. I can't. I can't believe we stumbled upon this audio thing. I love it. Yeah. Well, that's a podcast. Oh, podcast. it's the podcast. Yeah. That is a podcast. Man, hit him with a friendly mind. Oh my fucking clip. <laughs> okay, that's enough for you ASMR uh, horn dogs. As you know, this weekend in Hollywood, Saturday, May seventh, we're having the legendary Lisa Ann, and I've been using that as a joking like reference point for so long, and just like kind of like, who's that, Lisa Ann? You know, it's like yep. it's so cool to see this actually happen. So yep. May seventh, we're gonna have her. It's gonna be interactive. The tickets are moving pretty quick, and it's it's. I'm just excited to do a show for people who are like you guys. Just 100 percent like we just yep. love the podcast. This isn't stand up. It's literally Literally just the podcast, us being us. Gabe's gonna be there, hot and everything. Mm. Um, and Gigi might even be there. No, that's a good Gigi. idea. I think I might bring Captain America. It's a big, short, and tiny right, little. Never mind, I take that back. But you know who will be there? Lisa Ann. <laughs> Lisa Ann. And it ain't Gigi, but she got them DDs. Come on, yeah, kick it. Damn. Boop, 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 while babysitting. Um, also, while babysitting, uh, friend of the reminder again, we have a Patreon for extra episodes, ad free drops every mother effing Friday for only $5 a month. Uh, so go cop that, if you will. Cop it's patreon.com backslash tipsockspod. And uh, as we always say, guys, thank you so much. You guys are awesome. And uh, till next Wednesday, boom, bow, fist in the ass.